And hello again, Internet. Well, I'm going to have to do a bit of a channel update here as it's been a couple weeks since I've been able to do any recording. And if you can hear from my voice, it actually is significantly better than it was even yesterday. So I'll kind of go into what's been happening with me and um, what's going to happen with the channel. At the moment... I am definitely going to go ahead and try my best to get things going on this. Uh, looks like I missed something here. Let me double check something. Yeah, I've been sick for the last couple weeks. What ended up happening is after my previous recording, which was... Uh, God, what even was that? I'm trying to think right now. Oh, yeah. Uh, Bioshock 2. I ended up, if you remember, the first time I tried to do Bioshock 2, the game crashed out. It was crashing on a level 2. So I couldn't finish the main, the original game. I went back in and did the remaster, but the night before I did the remaster, Dry Air, when, it was, when I was asleep, Dry Air got into my throat and kind of cracked the back of it a little bit so I got a wound in the back of my throat and you know, got phlegm covering it up because there's a bloody spot back there trying to heal um, now I did do one day's recording of, with, with that so my voice is actually rough on that first day of Bioshock 2 but then the next day I wasn't able to record at all because I ended up getting, and I kid you not on this, bronchitis and the flu basically hit me at the same time. So as bad as my voice, nice. As bad as my voice had been during that recording, my throat kind of fell apart. I started getting a really bad fever. And things just went downhill for me to the point where I was actually bedridden for a couple days, basically. I couldn't, I couldn't get out of bed. It's the worst sickness I've had in 10 plus years. And it wasn't just the flu either. I said it, it really was a combination of a couple things. Because I managed to unfortunately get my roommates sick as well. They both had the flu shot. They didn't get the flu-like symptoms, but they did get the throat, the cough, the junk that way that was also bothering me. Now, they've since, of course, cleared up, and you can hear that my voice hasn't. I have a fever, my, my flu stuff is gone. The fever's gone, all that stuff. Um, the bronchitis technically is gone at this point. It's The soreness that I have in my throat is that original freaking wound. You know, the the dry air that cracked the back of my throat. It unfortunately has yet to fully heal. And that has, of course, messed with my voice during this time. As I said, you may not believe it right now, but my voice is actually significantly better than it even was yesterday. Yesterday, I couldn't talk above a will shit. Couldn't talk above a whisper. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Pardon me. Now, not being able to talk well does mean that I can't really do my recording since I don't have a cam or anything. I'm talking to you with my voice, and if I don't have that, then there's not a lot that oh damn it, there's not a lot that I can do. Now, I have been resting my voice, which is one of the reasons I haven't been doing the recording. It's one of the reasons why today isn't going to be a very long recording. I'm kind of showcasing this game as well, and I will talk about this game in a bit. I just wanted to let everyone know where I've been the past couple weeks. So, yeah, I will... Um, I'm going to continue to rest my voice. I know, I know. Like, there's my whole two fans... That would love to watch me again. I am going to go back. I've not. I've definitely not given up playing Bioshock 2. I really do want to play that game. 
Because I don't want him to see that game. That was the whole point of doing this. And... Where is she? So I've been wanting to really see that game. And I'm going to tell you, I haven't really played much of anything while I've been sick. I've tried a couple times, but I literally have just not been able to play much of anything this past couple weeks. Let's grab that one. Uh, <coughs> pardon me. So I can't even really update you on what I've been playing, because there isn't anything. I mean, yesterday I started playing some Blaster Master Zero Two, and it's been fun, but I barely started it. So I needed something to play today that was quicker that I can showcase off, not do a full video on, and I decided that people needed to see this game. Now it's not an entirely new game at this point, it's been out for a bit, and I'm sure most of you who would be interested in this have already seen it. Now, this game here is 20XX. Obviously based on, you know, like Mega Man and such. In fact, the character here, she's dressed up as Mega Man to a degree. The 20XX is a reference to... Ooh, what is this? A very safe laboratory. I've not seen this before. Attack, power, disable... Gain one of each rep. Well, uh, that's I've not seen this before. I can do nothing. Awesome. Well, let, let's let, let's have fun with this now. <laughs> okay. Um, sorry, I am not distracted. Yeah, as you can see, it is a, it's a roguelite. Well, that's actually pretty fun for a roguelite. I'm not good at it, but I'm not good at anything, really. Oh, this is, let, let, let's try the bonus zone. Be swift when I can't attack. Uh, oh, shit, this is actually pretty nice. Um, yeah. What is this? Charge attack, vaporize enemy shots. Doesn't matter because I can't use them. Yeah, it, it's a Mega Man inspired roguelite. There's a couple characters to start with. There's some DLC characters as well. Um, you choose the boss order based on... As you've seen, what three enemies, or what three stages at the end of the game. I have yet to beat this. Surprise, surprise, right? No shit! I don't want to be here. No power yet, couldn't use it anyway. Okay, that got me out of there at least. Um, I've, I've, I've never seen this stuff before, what's going on right now, so. I'm, I'm uh, having fun, that's amusing. It, it's a really fun little game. I like I like these platforming roguelites. When they're well done, they're just incredibly fun. I'm terrible at them, but I enjoy them. And since I've already, you know, featured um, the heck's it called? Dead Cells. Oh, come on, guys. Get this. I've already done Dead Cells on the stream. Which, by the way, has had a DLC update. What do we got here? Help take off some Minecraft armor. Well, if I get that, I can't get the rest, but let's do it anyway. Um, Dead Cells is at a DLC update with some new content. It's pretty fun. I have finally actually beaten that one once, not like six or seven times you're supposed to beat that game. 
Dang, these things do a lot of damage. Look at that shit. Mm, yeah. Oh, 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 more stuff up here I didn't notice. Um, I don't know what to say right now. Let me guess, can't use it, can't use it. As you see, you get the three choices here. Now, this guy is my least favorite. This guy kicks my butt. So let's go kill him. Let's go, let's go die to him. Yeah, the DLC update for uh, Dead Cells adds... It's, it's a free DLC, too. So if you have the game, definitely want to pick that up. It adds a bunch... It, it's harder. A lot of new enemies right off the bat. A uh, whole new zone. You do have to beat the game once to get the one power you get from beating the game of being able to throw your head in order to get a key to unlock the new zone. And there's apparently a special boss, <coughs> excuse me, only available when you've beaten all of the difficulty levels in that game, which is, yeah, I can't even beat the second one. I barely beat the first so far. Because I'm bad at video games. But those of you who are interested, definitely you want to you want to check that out. You want to dust the game off and give it another shot. You've already got it. If you don't already have Dead Cells, well, give Dead Cells. It's a great game. Um, this one here, like I say, it has a couple oops, has a couple DLC characters. I think I have not picked them up yet because I was getting a base game and checking it out. I haven't played it that much, but it's another one where you do get power ups as you play. Not just in run, but you get stuff to permanently increase your skills. Which, to me, you kind of that's an important aspect of roguelites. If it doesn't have that, I don't really consider it as good a game. Because otherwise, there's no progress. The game just is. And it will never change, it will never be better. You want the game to improve as you play it. Which, on the other hand, you know, some people may say, well, you know, you're just making the game easier and easier. It's kind of like cheating. Well, and artificially grinding, too, you know? There's there's people who definitely see that having the upgrades in a roguelite is just artificially extending the game. The game should be able to be beaten without all that extra crap. And there are definite arguments to be made either way. But I'm... I'm on the side of the kind of like RPGs, so I don't mind leveling up in them as it were. <coughs> Besides, it gives you a reason to continue to play them. Oh, this could be bad. This is going to be really freaking bad. Because like I said, this is already my least best boss. And the bosses do get harder as you go into the game. Oh, this is going to suck. Oh, this is going to suck a lot. No, it's actually, it's actually doing a fair bit of damage. Yeah, because I played this in... The bosses do get harder as you go on. There's like beta versions at the beginning where they're considerably weaker and then they get fairly high-end ones later on. Like the hard version of this one, he's summoning multiple flowers at once. They're throwing tons of things around. Whereas right now, he's only throwing one flower at a time. He's moving a lot slower. So that is one way that the difficulty changes as you're doing it too. So if you have a boss that you're actually really good at, you can want to save him for later. Save that stage for later. 
where you have more power-ups, more health, and all along the way. This, I think, does everything a good roguelite should do. Because the game changes. The game changes dramatically as you play. No two runs are the same, just based even on your power-ups. Listen, I've never seen this power-up before. It's, um... Interesting. Oh, oh, oh. He is going to kick my ass. Oh, that is one nice thing right now. The hard versions of this, the floor is not solid. There's gaps in it, and all kinds of deadly traps. And, wait. Here I can just run across, no problem. Come on, there you are. Yeah, I got him. Band of Might, which doesn't do me any good right now. Yeah, I will be uploading this to YouTube. Since I can't attack right now anyway, it doesn't really matter what the weapons are. Uh, this guy's fun. This guy is dumb and stupid and fun. So let's see if he, he'll actually kill me this time. And I've yet to actually see an actual weakness on a freaking boss. That's one thing that really pissed me off. Like, even when I had three, um... Because you, can, you can only keep three of the powers. And even when I had all three freaking powers, none of the bosses ever seemed to be resistant, never seemed to be weak to them. <coughs> no, cool armor capsule. Armor capsules are nice because if you're even at full health, you can pick them up and get more. They effectively let you go past your maximum health. And I mean, even if you pick up the health after you've gotten the capsule. Oops, shit. Of course, the armor also goes away first, so. Oh boy. Now you may notice that I've got like, oops, shit. <laughs> oops. Like you, you've noticed every now and then those green chips that show up. Those are the things that let you buy the um, permanent upgrades, as opposed to the nuts, which only let you buy upgrades during that run. Once you're dead, the nuts are gone, but your chips stay. Let's go ahead and throw it here again. Oh, okay. Bonus, no damage. Ooh. Oh, oh, shit. Didn't notice that up there. Oh, God. That glory zone failed. Dang, dang, dang. I love those glory zones, too. Um, dark cells, or dead cells, used to have zones like that. They got rid of them. In this game, the zones, it's usually combat, but as you see, it can be something different. I've seen escape. That's the first time I've seen a basically just don't take damage obstacle course run. I have nothing against that. That's fun. I lost because I suck at the game, but ah, shit. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to make this stage now. But yeah, the main thing I want to do in this video is just let people know where the hell I've been. That is dying. I'm going to continue to rest my voice. So, un until my throat is completely back to normal, at least. I, you know, the longer I'm talking... Here's some chips. The longer that I am talking... When my voice is bad, the longer it's going to be to heal. That's the main thing. So I want to just take my time. I'm going to continue to not record for a while. I hate that too. I hate not recording. I love doing the recordings like this. I love talking to people. I love playing the games. That's one of the main things I'm doing this for is so that I can play games that I otherwise don't play. 
and unfortunately, I'm just not able to do anything right now with my voice in this condition. My throat is wrecked. There he goes. Now he's in freak out mode. See, he's a fun boss. These are a lot of fun bosses. I highly recommend this game. I love this game. And I think more people ought to play this game. I think more people ought to play a lot of games. I think everybody owns. This guy always gets me. I don't think I've ever beaten this guy. So let's go fight him. Let's go. Uh, everybody should be able to play more games. Hopefully I've been feeling better enough lately to actually play some stuff offline. Play some stuff offline, so... Oh shit, I thought he was dead. You'll note that your health stays between rounds. So if you have a really bad... Oh, damn it. If you have a really bad boss fight, it could completely screw your next game. Ah, shit. Oh, huh. Oh, shit. Well, that didn't work. Oh, Castle is supposed to do it here. Not that. No. Damn it. Okay, I'm awful at this game. Holy crap. And I missed again, Jesus. Okay. I am just failing miserably at the most basic of tasks. There we go, finally! <coughs> Freaking hell. I mean, I love stages where you can get a bunch of, like, life up. be able to actually heal because you can have all the max help hit points in the world if you don't reach that max they don't matter and it is good to explore the different paths because you find a lot of secret stuff but you're also on the timer so it's going to be important or something to keep in mind Where the hell am I going right now? Alright, fuck this path. Let's go this way. Shock 2 is not going to show up on the YouTube now. until I get more days of it in. I don't want to just put that one day up and that's it. Now, oh, I'm dead. Yep, there we go. I don't want to put just that one day up and be it. Oh, oh! Apparently one of those things was a revival. That's pretty awesome. I was not expecting that. I don't have it again, though. Because I've never seen these guys before, so I don't know what they all do. Oh, well, it's neat having all of them together.
It's actually kind of strange. Um, Dead Cells. So Dead Cells had a lot of things that were similar to this and got rid of some of the stuff during the early access process. The challenge rooms are gone. And they changed up how the timers and all work. These games were a lot closer. Oh, well, let's see what's in here. Uh, ooh, what do we got for armor? Dashing grants a shield. We'll take it. <coughs> now he knows. You notice mm, that the floor down there is gone. <laughs> just let these guys sit in the middle of them. That's 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 far too effective. That's kind of bullshit. Potato battery, more energy. Energy is the sub weapons. I can't use sub weapons because of what I've got right now. Let's see, jagger crystals and mit. Alright, now that should actually be, how many is that? How many have I gotten here so far? That's level 5, so we should be able to get a little cutscene here. These are fun. You'll notice that none of these have that, like, exclamation point, so I don't freaking know. Do I get the cutscene? usually get a cutscene after 5. Nope. I don't like these plant ones because those plants. Oh, okay. See, now see that thing is glowing. That little outline around it. That means that that's one of the things that's going to get me the chips. It's a more difficult enemy, and there's my reward. Only one soul chip. A frowny face because there's only one. Yeah. I hope someone here is interested in this game. Seeing it. I mean, I don't always play old games. I like to play new ones once in a while, too. I mean, I'm obviously not going anywhere that way. And that sucked. Oh, shit. Yep. Oh, God. This is going to be bad. There we go. Oh, okay. I see what's going on here. Getting the hang of it. Getting the hang of it. I get data lore sometimes. And then sometimes you get a whole bunch at once, but it's like, I've already killed this enemy a few times. Why is it showing up now? You'll note that, like, the nuts and such actually slide down slopes. Uh, I'll show off some of the data, I guess. When I get a chance here. After this stage, I'll do that. It shows off the things you've collected, the enemies you killed. It's pretty neat. I love having information it's almost like that in game pouch. It's, it's nice having little information dumps like that in games, man. No game should have them. There's no reason not to. Any little tidbits, good for the players. Ah, damn. I was hoping I could get that without actually falling in.
All right, here we go. Another boss. <laughs> See if there's anything in the shop. Ooh. Oh. Uh, let's go faster. I like to go faster. Alrighty. New boss. Two of them. Things take them. Alright, that one's dead. Oh shit. Oh god, I'm actually gonna die now. Okay. I can't just tank these anymore. Yeah, that's going to be it for me. Come on, guys. Do damage. Dang it. All right. Well, I tried. I, I, I ended up doing way too much damage to myself trying to get to them. All right. Oh, vacation now. There was a payment one last time. I love these little cutscenes. Eh, suck them out into space. Bye bye. We don't need you anymore. Evil bastards. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and, since I got the time now, let's check that data lore stuff out. You can see, just look at how many augments there are here. I've barely gotten any of them. But I love this, the suits. Now, I, want, I have not yet been able to get all four parts of one at the same time. Obviously, this is the only one I've got all four of. I wonder what happens when you do. Oh, come on! Oh, mysterious. Unlock new augs with soul chips. But these repros, now see, that's not fair because we had all of these active at once. So, oh, here we go. Prototype Augs. There we go. Zookeeper's Burden. That's the one I just pick up. In, con in Contractor Co op, your followers will not pick up your garbage. Huh. I, I don't know if there is a co op mode, but here's the different weapon types you can get too. The sub weapons. I didn't pick all of them up yet. So look at how many bosses there are. I mean, there's got to be more enemies than this. And then, of course, the bosses. Well, let's check out these permanent upgrades. Begin runs with a core chest. That's nice. Can't afford it. The thing is, I think if I go in, I lose my chips. Yeah. So I can't save the chips. So if you want these upgrades, you have to get them all in one run. Or, you know, there's stuff like this. Cores from different sets boost stats. Well, that's kind of nice. Attack power up. Power damage down. So your basic attack gets stronger. And these things, once you buy them, they can show up in the runs. So, of course, you can get more and more powerful ones doing this. For example, like this thing... Uh, increase, you know, basic attacks and deal more damage. This is actually the level 2 version because here's the level 1. Slightly more and then they do more damage. And this, you know, gives you a plus 2. You had to buy those upgrades because otherwise it was just the plus 1s. <coughs> so there you go. And, and 
you want to double check, there is let's see a second character here. You can play as Ace. He's the sword dude. Or as Nina. And I generally play as Nina right now since Mega Man versus Zero. Obviously Mega Man based. So yeah, that's what's going on. I recommend this game. Totally pick it up if you get it. If you want. If you like Mega Man, if you like roguelikes, if you just like fun little platformers, speed games, whatever. This is a fun one. I so far have had no complaints about this one about how it plays. I really enjoyed it. I think it's pretty solid. Uh, channel. I'm going to go ahead and upload this. I'm going to rest my voice. Until I'm back to normal, the channel is unfortunately going to have to wait. Because I don't want to risk making this take any longer, or even worse have some permanent damage so I'm just gonna rest for a while guys I'm sorry I hate it I want to record I love doing the recordings I love doing the games I love talking with you people but I just have not been able to lately now, so as bad as my voice is right now and I'm not doing anything I'm not trying to make it worse because that's what I'm you know this is my voice right now and this is so oh, much better than it was yesterday. You have no idea. Like, I woke up this morning and tried talking and went, holy shit, I can hear myself. Maybe I can record. No, I'm not ready to record yet. I am not ready to fully record yet. But I, I was honestly thinking about it this morning because I can actually hear myself. Take care, Internet. I, I, hope, I hope none of you have suffered like I have this season. I hope all of you have been finding good games to play, finding fun people to watch. And I'm sorry my channel is starting to degrade because of this crap. It's been a bad year. Like, what, what a kick in the pants for third anniversary. Here I am, all set and excited, and I get sick for two freaking weeks right after the third anniversary. I was looking forward to playing Bioshock. I'm still looking forward to playing Bioshock. I want to finish that game. It looks fun. I was having fun with it, and then this happened. Um, keep an eye on my Twitch channel. I have that little update thing down there. It will tell you when I'm healthy. Until next time, Internet. Take care and enjoy the games you play.